Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my go-to like summer bronzy, tan, glowy look, I guess. I've been wearing this look a lot recently. I feel like every time I've had to get glam really quick and I can't really like think of what I wanna do. This is kind of my go-to and I've posted a couple pictures in this actually on my Instagram. So I thought it'd be fun just to show you like from beginning to end how to get nice and glowy and get like a bronzed glowy look. I'm also gonna show you a little bit of my foundation routine and if you wanna, you know, make your skin or your body glowy, stuff like that. So basically this is just like a how to glow video, a bronzy glow for pale people. So if you would like to see me do this look, then just keep on watching. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit more. Ah, shit. I gotta wet my beauty blender. I'm back. Okay, my skin has been through it recently and it just feels like really gross and dry. Um, so I am going to first start off with priming my skin. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I absolutely love this stuff. It smells really good and I just feel like it like gives my face like a refresh. Wow, I don't know. It's just kind of like a moisturizing. Huh. I talk about it all the time. It's in all my videos. Yeah. Focus on me, please. Thank you. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is use these Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And this is in the shade Moonlight. They're very metallic, very glittery. The look that I do with my skin is already really glowy as it is. And I haven't done it with this underneath. So we shall, so we, so we shall see how's the, dear, <laughs> so we shall see how this goes. And I'm just going to put just a little bit on my face, just with the dropper, it's kind of like the excess. And then I'm going to take, this as a little microfiber brush, and I'm just gonna kind of use that to blend this into my skin everywhere. I love using this stuff and like mix it in with my lotion actually, and like put it all over my legs. It makes my legs look so shiny and pretty. Okay, so now that I'm literally so glowy and glittery right now. I look crazy. I'm going to go ahead on with the rest. Wow, go ahead and enhance my pimple right there, don't you? I'm going to go move on with the rest of my skin. So as I've talked about in my previous video, and I think I talked about it on Instagram before, I have completely switched up the way that I do my foundation and my skin routine. After Tati, if you don't know her, she's here on YouTube. I don't know why you don't know her if you're in the, if you like watching beauty videos. Glam Life Guru is her YouTube name, go check her out. But she did a video with JLo's makeup artist, Scott Barnes, and I have, was just like mesmerized by what he does. I thought it was so interesting. And obviously like who doesn't want that JLo glow? So I tried it and then I was like, holy cow, my skin has never looked this good. So I've just been kind of playing around with it and kind of finding my own, my own vibe with it. And this is how I've been doing my makeup. So I'll kind of quickly run through this. Um, as I mentioned in my other video, if you guys want me to do like a really in-depth process of this, I'd be happy to do so, but we're just going to do this really quickly. So the first product that I'm going to start out with is my Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in the shade Fair. Okay, I'm just going to put this under the eyes, put it really close to under my eyes, bring it all the way out. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly blend this out. Okay, cool, starting to look a little less crazy, but we're about to start looking even crazier. So I'm going to go ahead and use, this is thrown back old school, if you guys know what this is. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Everyone used to be obsessed with these, and I just love these. They're so cheap and they're so good, and they have a really great shade range, and you can literally use them for anything. So my lips are crusty, hold on, but I need some chapstick. That's better. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this is we're going to basically cream bronze with this, kind of like cream contour, essentially. So I'm going to take a decent amount of this. So this does dry down pretty quickly, so that's why I'm just working in this. I'm gonna spray my brush with just a little bit of Fix Plus. This is the Morphe R8. It's like just a flat top contouring brush. Just spray my brush a little bit. Ah! I mean, not like over everything. And I'm basically just gonna like buff this into my skin. And this is where we're gonna start to look really, really crazy. But just trust in the process. You will look good in the end. I promise. Alrighty, now that we look absolutely 
crazy, but you can kind of see what we're going for. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation and the foundation that I've been using nonstop for the past month or so has been the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Mixed with the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. This combination is just, oh, it's good. It's to die for. All right, basically just take a little bit of this and then just start working it into the skin. And voila, you have bronzy, really natural skin. I just love using cream products. Now when it comes to set in the face, I'm gonna show you what I do. Okay, so I am going in with the lightest shade from the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. These are just the single pans. I just pop this in here in a little Z palette so it's easier for me. And I'm going to set my eyes using this. Shocker, I know, not my Maybelline Fit Me powder. And then for the rest of the face, I will either use translucent powder or some type of foundation powder. Today, I'm going to use my Giorgio Armani, what is this? The Luminous Silk Powder. I love this powder. And I'm just taking a big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna like go all over my face, essentially. I just don't want anything to be sticky or tacky. All right, next up we are going to bronze the skin with a little bit of powder. I'm going to be using the Morphe Glamour Bronze Face and Body Bronzer, and this is in the shade Megastar. Now we're gonna do a little bit of bacon. Alrighty, I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows off of camera real quick and I will be right back. Okay, so I just did my eyebrows off of camera and I definitely did them bushier and like more textured than I normally do just because I feel like it looks so good with this kind of like just like smoky bronzy look that we have going on. Um, but you could definitely do whatever you like to do with your brows. I also am entering this year's benefit brow search. So this was my fourth and final brow look. So I'm going to be posting that later on my Instagram and if you don't follow me please go follow me and tag benefit so I can have a chance to win this because this would be so freaking awesome if I did okay moving on let's go on to the eyes so the palette that we are going to be working with today and it's just one palette that we are going to be using is the mine is really dirty <laughs> is the morphe 35 V and she looks like these okay so the first shade that we're going to be picking up is the shade Scandal right here. And I'm gonna pick that up on my M518. And just lightly throwing this into the outer crease. Okay, then we're going to go in with a little bit of Vixen, which is this shade right here, and Spice, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna use the same brush. Just switching over to a different brush, I'm using an M433, and this time I'm going to dip into only Spice. We're gonna just deepen this up. So now we are going to go in with our shimmer, and we are going to go into this shade right here, which is called French Kiss. It's so pretty, look at her right there. She's like a really pretty bronzy gold, but it's not too dark. So, grabbing a little packer brush, I'm first gonna go into this dry. Just kind of place this where I want it. And I'll bring it up into this inner crease right there. And then I'm going to go in with my finger and just kind of sloppily place it on. And then just going back in with that M433 and that Spice shade once again and just like tapping over the edges very lightly just to make sure everything is blended. Now I'm just going in with my Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Frencation palette and I'm just taking the shade Just a Kiss and popping that right over just as like a really pretty gold kind of glitter effect. I love popping the shade like basically on top of everything. I feel like it just gives it just a kiss. A little something, something. Then on a little angle brush, this is a M165. I'm going to dip into, <clears throat> I'm actually gonna dip back into the Frencation palette. The only thing that this Morphe palette doesn't have is like a dark brown. 
So I am going to use this shade right here, which is called Chains. And I'm just going to define my outer V slightly more. So first I'm gonna pack this on just like that nice and close to the lash line and then going back in with that same m433 we've been using and just kind of buffing out that edge okay so we have the eyes looking like this so far and real quickly while i'm here i'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone and i'm going to use the first shade in the morphe palette which is called knockout Okay, so basically I'm just gonna do everything we did on the top with the matte shades down at the bottom, starting from darkest to lightest, and I will be right back. Alrighty, I just did my lower lash line and then did some mascara. I just wanted to note that you definitely don't have to wear false lashes with this look. I actually really like it without falsies. I just think it works for this look. Um, however, since I did kind of smoke out my waterline more than I normally do, I am going to put falsies on this time and just because I'm extra like that. Okay, I actually want something pretty natural for this look, believe it or not. So I'm gonna go in with my Ardell. These are the Demi Wispies in Faux Mink. While we are waiting for the lash glue to dry, I'm going to go ahead and pop a little something something on my inner corner. I'm just gonna take a little pencil brush and dip into just a kiss which was the same kind of glitter we put on our lid. Alrighty, lashes are on. I absolutely love the way that these lashes look with this look. I'm obsessed. Okay, let's move on to the rest of our face. So I'm gonna zoom you guys out real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and dust all this off. It's been sitting there for quite some time now. All right, now I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Boop. And I'm going to mix these two shades right here. So it's Mosa and Crushed Pearl. I'm just gonna mix those together. And this I'm taking on a Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH04. I'm actually gonna put this literally everywhere. It's basically all over my cheeks and my cheekbones, down my nose a little bit, hit the forehead, chin. And I'll take this down my body as well really make everything glow. Next, I'm going to blush up my cheeks a little bit and I'm going to be going in with MAC Melba. This is one of my favorites. It's gonna blush up my cheeks just a little. Okay, so now I'm going to give my face a little spritz of the Morphe setting spray. And then I'm going to jump into my actual highlight, which is Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. Dust this on my cheekbones and bring it up to elevate the face. And then I will take this on my body as well. Kind of pop that collarbone, throw it on there, get the shoulders. And I'm going to dry it down with my fan. And then I will go in with the MAC Fix Plus Gold Light Edition for an extra little glow. Spray it on my body as well. All right, and last but not least is lips. Okay, so first I'm going to line using the NYX. What is this? This is the NYX Glide On Lip Liner in shade Sugar Glass. And then I'm going to go in with Kylie Cosmetics. This is Birthday Suit, and this is a velvet. You guys know how much I love her velvets. They're like one of my favorite formulas. Alrighty guys, that is it for this video and this look. I zoomed you guys out a little bit so you could see a little bit more of the sheen that I have on my body. As you can see, like on my shoulders. You just kind of see that there's just like an overall glow and bronze everywhere. If you guys liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos every week. If there's anything specific that you would like to see from me, 
um, any type of look, any type of video, personal, makeup related, whatever you guys want, let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in my next one. Mwah! Bye.